The brainstem consists of the three inferior brain vesicles, the mesencephalon, the metencephalon and the myelencephalon, each with its own typical landmarks. The cerebellum belongs to the metencephalon. In the sagittal MRI, the three components of the brainstem plus the cerebellum are clearly visible. We will go now to a series of horizontal MRIs and stop at the levels indicated. We start a horizontal sequence at the posterior commissure which marks the superior boundary of the mesencephalon. A typical section of the mesencephalon cuts through the cerebral aqueduct and the colliculi, the substantia nigra, the cerebral peduncles and the superior peduncle of the cerebellum. The transition from mesencephalon to metencephalon is characterized by the widening of the cerebral aqueduct into the fourth ventricle. An interesting nucleus at this level is the locus ceruleus. When we continue, the cerebellar peduncles come into sight. On each side there are three of these peduncles, but they are very close to each other. Later in this movie you will have a better view of all three peduncles. At the end of the pons, the parental tract takes a superficial position. Note the emergence of several cranial nerves and the typical shape of the myelencephalon that has bulges like the olive and the pyramid. The pyramid contains the pyramidal tract, while the olive houses the inferior olivary nucleus that supplies the cerebellum with fibers. The myelencephalon is continuous with the spinal cord through the foramen magnum. Typical features of the dorsal aspect of the brainstem are the superior and inferior colliculi of the mesencephalon, the rhomboid fossa which is the bottom of the fourth ventricle and the obex which is formed by the presence of the dorsal column tuberculi. The colors in the meantime indicate the truncated cerebellar peduncles. On the ventral aspect of the brainstem a number of cranial nerve roots are visible. The trigeminal nerve root that emerges from the pons, the adducens nerve, the facial and vestibular cochlea, and then ventral to the olive, the hypoglossal nerve and dorsal, the ninth, the tenth and the cranial root of the eleventh cranial nerve. Please note that the decussation of the pyramidal tracts is incomplete. A small contingent of fibers remains ipsilateral and forms the medial pyramidal tract. The main component crosses the midline and forms the lateral pyramidal tract. 